Hi everyone, welcome back. It's been quite some time since I last filmed a video, but I am back. Um, I am not 100% still, but I feel like I'm good enough to film this video. I do still have a lingering cough that like will not go away, but the frequency of the cough I feel like has gone down enough for me to be able to film this. So we're making progress. Um, also, I apologize in advance for my nails they have grown out so much I was supposed to get them done on Monday but that didn't happen so we'll see when I get around to it um but yeah I'm going to try to edit out my coughs if I had like a coughing attack but if it's like a single cough I probably won't edit it out just because uh just for simplicity's sake so um I'm going to try my best anyway I am late filming this. It is Wednesday. This did go up yesterday um, on June 14th. Today is the 15th, but this comes down on Friday, June 17th at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, so you still have plenty of time to pick this up. This week's theme is like a back to basics, so we have some scripts, we have um, date numbers, and then we have florals kind of like revamped kind of I'll explain in a little bit but let's get into the like foiled stickers first and then we'll do the florals because I feel like I don't know we'll see so basically with the scripts I have a days of the week and months of the year um, and there's like three different styles of lettering in here and then I have some date numbers as well so let's just get into it um, so first we have our long script days um, this is the first kind of style this week is the script style um, and I wanted to design these to kind of like basically the longest one goes all the way across but I wanted to keep them all to scale so you can see the Wednesday goes from end to end in a column I'm not sure if you can see the column behind actually but um, the Wednesday goes end to end and then all of the rest of them are the same size um, so because Wednesday is the longest day that one will be the only one that goes fully end to end but the other ones match the style so that is the long script days and then if you don't like the tails we have just the regular days without the tails you do get two extra weeks so you get two weeks here with the tails and then you get four weeks without the tails it just kind of depends on what style you're looking for in addition we have the abbreviated version so these also go the full width I think Thursday is the longest one in this case um, so same concept except it's abbreviated so the words do look larger because it's going from abbreviated to from the entire world word and then of course we have the one without the tails as well and you get five weeks if you do the abbreviated without the tails so this is like the first style, the script style, and this is the days of the week. Um, but we also have the months here. So you have your, um, just an entire year's worth of months on here with the tails. And then you have, um, two sets of months without the tails. Um, and then it's the same concept as before where I think September is the longest day September goes all the way across and the other months kind of follow next is this like brush style so um, this has a little bit more character to it than the script ones so with the script it's pretty the it's pretty consistent in how the tail looks and there's not much variation in the letters and it's not it's kind of just like straight across so I wanted the brush letter which kind of mimics more of a true hand lettering feel so that was kind of like the idea behind this style so um, again I wanted it to go all the way across so this is the long brush days and then this is the long brush days without the tail so you get um, two weeks worth with the tails and you get three weeks 
without the tails. And then I abbreviated these as well. I'm actually missing a sheet. So you have, this is the abbreviated without the tails. I'm missing the abbreviated with the tails here. I'm not sure where it went. I'm pretty sure that I have it, but I can't find it. Um, so this is the version uh, without the tails, but this is the brush style. Here are the brush months. So again, you get a full year here with the tails. And then this is um, two years with no tails in that brush style. And then here is the abbreviated version of the months. Um, I'm not sure why I didn't do this in the script style, but this is the brush style. Again, you get one year's worth in the um, tail style, and then you get two years worth without the tails. And then next, I thought that this would be super cute, especially if you pick this up in black, because these are being offered um, in a non-foil option with just black. Um, so I felt like these would be super fun, especially for journaling. So these are meant to look like typewriter um, lettering. So you get your Monday through Sunday and you get three weeks worth. And then with the abbreviated, you get five weeks worth. And then with the typewriter months, you have, how did I lay out this sheet? I'm so confused. Oh, two years worth. And then um, I don't have abbreviated months. Again, I'm not sure why I did that. I designed some of these when I was sick, so I think part of like my sick brain was kicking in. Um, anyway, so we have some cute, Date numbers here, I'll show these first. So these are the script date numbers that are the same style as our script lettering. Um, I had, oh, sorry, I normally don't have my sound on. Um, I normally, I would, I was going to do the brush style, but I didn't like the way that the numbers looked. Like, the one kind of looked like a nine, but also a seven at the same time, and I was, like, very confused. So, I just didn't do that as an option. But I feel like with the script ones, you could pair, like, our basic ones that are already in the shop with it, and it would, like, the contrast would make it look good. But, anyway, here are the script date numbers. You get um, two months worth on here. And then here are the typewriter date numbers, which are super cute. And you get one, two, three three months of the typewriter date numbers on here and then this one I thought was fun let me know what you think um they're date number dividers so basically what I was thinking is that um I see a lot of people in their planner they have their like date cover deco up here and then they're putting like a divider here to kind of like section off the date cover before they get into their day-to-day -day. and so I thought that it would be cute because when I'm planning I don't know where to put my date numbers sometimes so I figured that it'd be cute to have the date number in a divider so you can um, just section off with the divider like that but there is the line version and then this is the dotted divider version Okay, I'm back. My husband came home and the dogs were freaking out. Anyway, so this is the dotted version that matches our normal dotted divider. And again, it's the same thing where you can just cap off your date cover section with these and it can be functional with the date number being there as well. So that is everything for the kind of like foiled stuff this week. What I want to get into next is the florals. Um, so we have some new florals and we have some old ones as well that are back and kind of like revamped. So, okay, as I was saying, um, some of them are ones that we've released before and I just kind of revamped them and some of these are new. Actually, most of them are new. So, um, 
Yeah. So we previously had florals. We have 11 different ones this week. And I'll just kind of like flip through them. But we, our old floral deco sheets are, I mean, the way that floral deco has been used ever since we launched our first floral deco sheets has kind of changed. So I wanted to make them fit the current planner atmosphere a little bit better. So these sheets have smaller bouquets. Our old ones used to have like a giant bouquet here, a giant bouquet there, a giant bouquet there, just like three, and then a ton of like individual flowers. So um, I switched them up to have like more reasonably sized bouquets and it mostly just being bouquets and um, just like you have more on a sheet now. Um, so I'm just kind of flip through them. This is the boho floral. This is the flirty floral. The rainy floral. I have some fuzz on the side. We have the lumiere florals. These are the wild florals. These are a little bit different. They're not like bunchy bouquets. They're more like um, little tiny individual wildflower bouquets. And when you see the trims, you'll see like why they look this way. Um, but they do have like some dragonflies and butterflies and stuff sprinkled throughout there. And then I had some extra space on here. So I threw in some butterflies and such. These are the wedding florals. Um, we had these in the shop previously. Actually, the old versions of these are still in the shop. Um, I'm probably going to be taking them down. I don't know. I'm not sure when I will take them down, but these are in here. These are also in here now. So we have the wedding floral and the garden floral. This one was also in the shop previously in the old format. This is the pastel florals, which is another reformatted one. The Dusty Florals, these are new. These Merry Violet Florals, I named it that because it's like marigold color and like violet color. And then these are the Dark Boho Florals. Um, so those are the Floral Deco. And then Emma's having a blast downstairs. We have the trims, which if you are familiar with our old trims, we used to have them on a quarter sheet like this and then the, there'd be two columns of trims um, but um, floral trims for washi have been popular but I didn't want to make it where you had like four of these so like two weeks worth of washi trims and then you have to buy the regular trims separately so I just put them all on one sheet like this so you have enough for your spread without having like two weeks worth if because I I mean I feel like typically people don't reuse the same florals over and over except in like select cases so I put the whole washi one on here where you get both sides for your spread and then you get eight of the column sized ones so you can so do you your bottom florals down here with the longer strips and then you can use the shorter column ones and use them in your date covers um, and then there's eight of them so you have an extra one to use in your sidebar as well so I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly kind of flip through these um, since they just match the florals that I just showed you um, but here is the boho the flirty rainy I can't pick it up. <laughs> Sorry. I've been holding that coffin for a while. Um, here's what I was talking about with the wild. So it kind of like looks more like a meadow than um, kind of like bouquets. So that's why the floral deco sheet looks the way that it does. This is the wedding one garden, pastel, dusty, merry violet, and the dark boho. So as you can see, they match perfectly. And to go with this kind of setup, I have the, um, these swashes here as well. So 
um, you can kind of see that I pulled colors from the florals. So this is the dark boho swashes. And these are kind of like for your own like DIY date cover action. So you can, if like say you don't want to use the date covers that are in the kit. Um, so you can just use these scripts with the date numbers on the swashes to make your own date covers paired with the trims for your um, date cover deco and then you have your washi and your other florals to use throughout your spread. So I'm just going to kind of like flip through these like side by side so you can like see well that's fun because these are in a different order because I just flipped through the other ones already so let me quickly get them in the same order as the florals. So I'm just going to flip through both of these so you can just see how these swashes match the florals. So here is the dark boho. This is the merry violet. The dusty. Pastel. Garden. Wedding. Wild. Oops. Lumiere. Rainy. Oops. Okay. Flirty. And then boho. So the swashes will complement your florals so it can be seamless you could alternate the swashes and have like every other day be a different color um you can use some of them as date covers and some of them as like quarter boxes in your spread and the swashes are kiss cut and these are the same swashes that we have um, as i was saying these are the same swashes that i have in our date covers so you get the same kind of style but they are kiss cut um so hopefully that all makes sense um i am probably gonna put together some like mock spreads i mean not really like spreads but kind of just like show how you can pair all this stuff together on instagram and then of course i'm going because i don't if I put all these down in the planner, I just feel like it's going to be like 5 million pages of the planner. Um, and I feel like the majority of the time when the stickers get put down in the planner, it's for sizing references. So I'm going to go ahead and put these down in the planner for sizing references, the foil. But um, I'm not going to put down the florals, but I am going to like show some examples of how these can be used on like Instagram and stuff like that. Um, probably some reels. Um, these will be in the shop after the $2 Tuesday. They will just be at the normal price. Um, so uh, don't worry if you can't pick them up this week. Um, but yeah, that is everything that I have to share with you today. Um, keep watching if you do want to see these put down in the planner. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'll talk to you later for this week's new releases. Bye.